Uh, I want to I want to talk to you about uh, my testimony and and some of the things that God has in my life. Uh, you know, I come from a country where uh, many uh, parents are not responsible with, with their kids, and I'm talking about this, the specific case of, of the father. The father, the masculine figure in Honduras, many times is, is not a good figure, and many parents forget about their kids. And, and many moms, many mothers need to raise their kids on their own. So uh, my, my father was abandoned, or was forgotten by his father and by his mother because his mother needed to work and he was forgotten in a, in a small village. Later on, my father forgot about me and my brothers and sisters and he left home to live with another woman. That really created in me uh, an emptiness in my heart. And I, and I really needed my, my father. I really needed to, to have him close to me, you know? And I was feeling all the time uh, like low self-esteem and very bad in my heart because my father abandoned me, because my father forgot about me and my brothers and sisters. And uh, in my family, this pattern, this same pattern, same thing of parents forgetting about their kids repeated and repeated and repeated over and over again it was like it was like a curse like something repeating in all the family and you see that every every people that grew up like that was feeling very bad and very empty and and had a lot of personality problems so in my case uh, when this happened to me I started to, to miss my father a lot and feel very empty when I was a little girl, maybe I was like 10 or 12 around. And I started to have a lot of nightmares and uh, a lot of uh, nightmares with demons that came to me at night and told me I was alone and horrible things. And every time I had these dreams with these demons, I started to feel sick next day. So many times I was very sick I was feeling depressed and I was having these horrible nightmares and I was feeling so alone and so desperate for love, so desperate to feel accepted and to feel love in my life. So for many years, this uh, a demon tried to torment me and to give me a lot of sick and I, I was feeling very bad in my heart and in my life. And I was trying to do many things, but inside of me, I was like empty and having a lot of uh, problems in my personality, feeling less, lack of love, loneliness, and many things. But I was set free from this. I, I, I came to Jesus and I say, if, if, if I can be free from this, because this got worse. I mean, I was getting more and more sick and more and more depressed. And all my thoughts in my mind were like, like a cows, like a, like a horror movie, like a horrible in my mind. So I, I came to him and I said, Jesus, I, I really want to be free. And I remember in, in our church, um, uh, one sister from our church prayed for me. And when she was praying for me, uh, she, she, she said, God showed her that this was something that started when I was a little girl. And when she was praying for me, she, I didn't tell her about this. And she started to pray for this specific problem when parents forget about their kids. And, and she prayed for me about this and gave me words from God. And in the power of the name of Jesus, she commanded all demons related to this trauma in my life to, be, to, to, to stop oppressing me. And I was set free in that moment. And from that moment, I was never again receiving any uh, symptoms, any sickness, any trauma in my mind, any cows in my mind, and anything, no more nightmares, nothing about that, because Jesus set me free. And I give all the glory to God because he set me free. And what I want, you to, what I want to tell you with this is that Jesus is not just a theory. Jesus is not just a, something nice, a nice story, a religion. No, he's real power, real power that can set you free. Like me, I was free from all this. You can also be free. You can be free. Oh, many times I wanted to kill myself. 
I don't know you, but you can be free from any situation in your life, from anything in your life, in, uh, in your body, maybe in, in your personality, in your life. Many people is afraid because uh, her grandma had cancer, her mom had cancer, and now you are afraid because you will have cancer. Or maybe, you, maybe your, your family had problems in bones, and now you are feeling a lot of problems in the same, okay? All, everybody in your family had accidents or had problems with alcohol. Your grandpa was an alcoholic, your father was an alcoholic, your brother is an alcoholic, and now you feel like you're, get, you're going to be an alcoholic too, or you already feel like you are one. I want to tell you that the power of Jesus, that he died on the cross, is to set you free is to set you free from any kind of a slavery, any kind of bondage that you are. Maybe you feel like you're a slave to sex, you're a slave to pornography. You, you, can, you can spend one day without pornography, without masturbation, without going to have sex, without going to parties every weekend. You feel like you need to fill your life with a lot of alcohol and friends and social media and likes. Maybe you feel you want to be that, okay? Or maybe you really need to fill your life with many activities, or oh, sports, many things, because your life without all these things is nothing, because you cannot have your life without nothing, because you, you face yourself with you, and you realize that you're empty inside of you if you don't do all these things, okay? But life with Jesus is precious, it's real, it's powerful. He set me free. I am free, totally free, completely free, you know? I have a real relationship with him. And he can heal you, and he can set you free, and he can save you. If you are listening to me right now, and you are facing a situation, you cannot stop doing something. I don't know if you are into drugs. I don't know if you are in a toxic relationship with somebody, and you can stop this relationship even though you know that this hurt you. I don't know what kind of a slavery you are in, but Jesus paid on the cross the price for you to be free. Oh, I am so, so thankful to him. So thankful because he set me free, you know? Because I was, I was in such a torment, by, tormented by demons and tormented inside of me. But he set me free. And one night I remember that I, I prayed to him. I was feeling so tormented and I prayed to him. And I felt his protection around me. And I said, Jesus, you die on the cross with your blood. You cover all my mistakes. Because many of the things that were happening to me were because I was in a lot of sin. And I opened up many doors to sin in my life. I had an independent life away from God. And I didn't care. And I didn't want to stop this sin because it made me feel good. But this sin led me to horrible things in my life. But I say, Jesus, I know you die on the cross for me. I know you shed your blood on the cross for me. So I need your help now. If nothing, nobody can help me now. But you can help me. And I cry out to him and I, feel, I felt protected. I felt that he was there with me. I felt that he saved me and he forgave me of all my mistakes and all my sins. And I want to tell you that he is real. That his love for you is real. That who will die for another person? Will you die? Will you die for another person? He died for you, for me. And he did it so that he can give us real freedom. So that, he, that you can live a life in abundance. A real life in abundance. Not, not the kind of life that you say, Oh, this is life. Okay, we have this. What can we do? No, no, no. He died for you to have a full life. A real life. A fulfilling life. A happy life. He died on the cross for this. He makes he make makes me happy every day. He's the reason of my happiness. He's the reason of my of me smiling. He's he's my real everything for me. I am so full and so happy in my life, not because of what I do every day, not because of what I have, not because of uh, uh, or whatever I have because of the system or education or the government or whatever. 
not because of this, because of Jesus. I am happy because of him. You know what? It's so beautiful to be so sure that if I die, if I die, I will be with him. I am so sure. I don't know you. Maybe you are afraid of eternity. Maybe you don't know where you will go when you die. You don't know. But you know, he died for you to be sure that if you die, you die you will be for you will be forgiven of all your sins and mistakes and your life will be renewed and you will be make new creation to live with him here on earth and on eternity this life is like nothing we fill life with many things oh we want to do nice nice things every day and have a nice life relax oh let's enjoy summer so nice right but life goes by so fast. You see it in your kids. You are, you are a mother and a father. You see how fast your kids grow. Life goes like this in nothing. And you need, to, you need to think about eternity. You need to think about your life. Oh, Jesus died for you to have a real life. Jesus died for you to be set free. Jesus died to stop this pain in your body. He died on the cross. No, 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 not for you to be deserving. Oh, every, every weekend that you go to church, praying and saying, oh, I am so bad, I am so bad. No, he died on the cross for, to forgive you of your mistakes and your sins once and for all and give you a fulfilling eternal life here on earth and after death. So I invite you, the same way he set me free, he wants to set you free as well. Jesus said, I am knocking on the door of your heart and I placed in front of you life and death. Life and death, my friends, in front of you, what you will choose? Life and death in front of you, what you will choose? Jesus is life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is salvation, and he's here. He's here, placing life and death in front of you. And so if you are calling to, if you are listening to my voice, don't wait another day. Maybe you don't want to come to us now, but go to your house in the privacy of your room and say, Jesus, I want to know you. I want to experience you. I need your salvation in my life. Really believe what he did on the cross, because it's not about religion. It's not about just listening to this and saying, oh, nice religion, oh, nice church, oh, yes, no. This can be real in your life. So I invite you. You can find us in our, in our uh, pages in Facebook. We are like Koshal Motze or Arthur and Agatha Seron Sin Ministries. Uh, you can find us uh, uh, like Church of Power, and I invite you. And I invite you because today is day of salvation. If you have more questions, if you want to contact us, don't hesitate and do it today. Today is your day of salvation. Amen.